you're welcome back so if you haven't seen the first part please go back and watch the first video before this one so right now this is what we should do what you should do is to flip your work around we are going to be crocheting um you're going to chain three stitches up then keep making double crochets and when we get to this middle part i'll tell us what next to do So first we should chain three four we flip our work okay now i'm done chaining three i'll start making double crochets along this part down to the middle then i'll tell us what next to do <music> at the end this is the third stitch to the last so what we'll do is that when we get to this part we will skip these two chain spaces and just make a double crochet at this middle point so from here we'll be skipping two chain spaces once we are almost at the end of the row on this um on this middle part of the crochet work let me flip my work around so on this part we'll just be skipping two chain spaces at the end while we keep double crocheting to the end this is how far we work this is how this is going to help us to flatten our work the more we work on that area the more our work is going to flatten this way so when we are done working with this side we'll come back and work on this area we're going to work about um 10 rows from here because we, we need to cover our bust area properly so you can work to your desired measurement your desired length depending on how you want yours to be we just make sure it's covering your bust area and also at the back don't crochet so long that it's not going to be um properly fitted when you put the back straps so you're just going to work so a minimal length so it can also hold your top properly so we'll just um crochet so afterwards you will chain up three one two th three flip our work over skip two chain spaces and double crochet on the third chain space this is already starting as the first one sorry you chain three flip your work over to this side skip three chain spaces and double crochet on the third so keep making double crochets back to this edge and chain three up keep double crocheting when we are when we are um, three stitches away you skip two chain spaces and make this double crochet on the middle so this is how we keep rolling until we get to our desired length so i'll meet you guys when i'm done when i'm actually done working on this angle so i'll show us what to do don't forget that you have to skip two chain spaces at this edge and keep making double crochets side by side until you, you cover um, your under bust area and um, probably heading towards your back but make sure you don't work too long that your top becomes too big to adjust because you'll be adding straps so it can hold you firmly so guys i am almost at the end of this row and our yarn is also about to finish so i think i'll be showing you guys 
how to change your yarn to another yarn especially when your yarn is about to finish so this is where we are i'll just bring my other yarn bring it out from the pack you know then i would uh, i would actually dip my hand inside the yarn to bring out the other side we'll do that from this side so we can easily find the matching um end the other end so this is the end here you have to do this carefully you know this is the two sides and i'll just merge them together because we are doubling our strands for this project we've been working with a double strand so this is how we do it make sure the other side is smooth to the end and here it is so we just be working from here let's keep this let's keep all that aside roll your new yarn on your finger just like this we've done we're actually making a double crochet so whenever you have these last two stitches left that is the best time to insert or introduce the new one so i'll just you know so like i said the best time to actually um introduce your new yarn is when you have two strands of yarn left like this i was about making a double crochet but i'm actually almost done but not done so this is the best time to introduce your new yarn so just you know keep small space like this hold it down to the back of your new work you're about to introduce your 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 yarn yarn over like this pull through or and still hold it firmly yarn over again and make a double crochet on the next chain space you can use your other hand to hold down the other on um, the ends of those two yarns and i'll tell us what to do next so once you're done making this first double crochet the best thing to do at this point is to flip your work over to the back and tie the two strands together the two different um, yarns together so this could be another color this is also the same way you um introduce a new color to your project that you're working on just like this then you keep crocheting down so we are actually at the last row of this project so i'm just going to continue my double crochet down to the end of that row and i'll show us what next to do okay so at this place we are actually at the last stitch now and i'm making my final double crochet just like this so once you get here this is actually going to be our last stitch. so the best thing for you to do is to make an extra one chain get your scissors and cut then pull out just like this make sure the ends of your work are secured later on we'll come and um sealing this end so that they won't be showing so right now we've successfully um completed the 10 rows this is 10 rows when you count from here we've just made 10 rows on this side we'll also come and make the 10 rows for this other side so after cutting off your yarn the next thing to actually do is to insert your new yarn um, your yarn over to this side this end we'll just start from here introduce your new yarn and then we'll start double crocheting exactly what we did here is what we will be doing on this side so once i get to my 10th row i will come back and show you guys what to do next so firstly i'm just going to show us how we introduce a new yarn for this other side just like this you put your hook here you would make um a pass once you get here you chain up three make sure the first ferry chain is very very tight and secured so your work doesn't lose out from there then chain extra two that's three double um three chains upward then you make a double crochet on the very next stitch beside it just like this make a double crochet on the next stitch by the side then you keep making your double crochets down to this middle 
and do exactly what we did here on this side so i'll meet you guys when your work is done when we've done our um, 10 rows and i'll show us what next we should do so guys i've successfully completed the 10 rows as you can see this part is completed and that's it for the top so the next thing for us to do right now is that we are going to be working on the sides like the side angles that's um from here up to the part where we have the starfish so right now we are actually going to complete this last um this last double crochet now we're going to be making half double crochets back to this top part of the top so right now we'll just chain one and then make two half double crochets in each gaps two half double crochets in each of those gaps from here back to the top of the uh, beginning of the top so right now i've made my first half double crochet make the second one that's it so two half double crochets in each gap is what we're going to be doing back to the top of this hat of this um top and i'll show you guys what to do when i get to the top <laughs> Now from this part, I'll be working four half double crochets on each of these gaps. Yes, that's what I'm going to be doing for that area. Four half double crochets in each of these gaps at the start section. So start working um, four half double crochets just that way up and that's it. now on this last gap before the starfish end we actually need to be working three half double crochets in this gap the fourth one you're going to be making it on this very other side just like this so now we've successfully completed our four half double crochets on this um, star section the next thing for us to do is to chain up four just like this and then flip your work over to the other side so actually we are trying to form a mesh pattern on this section after we are done with this first half double crochets the next thing is to do this mesh pattern we are trying to do so skip the first gap double crochet on the next one chain one just like this skip one gap move to the next one and double crochet 
on that next space just as shown chain one again skip one gap move the next gap make another double crochet so that's the pattern for this particular section you're going to be making this mesh looking pattern by the side of the top because we're trying to form a design here so we're doing this in down to the end of our top and once we get to the end of the top there i will show us what next we should do so start forming your mesh walk down to the end of the top and i'll see you guys when we get there So guys, we successfully completed the mesh on this area. The next thing now for us to do is to flip our work over to the other side. We'll be making the very last design on this side of the top. So insert your hook on the very first chain space there and make a slip stitch there. Then you'll be putting your hook yarn over and slip stitch over the from the work then we are going to chain up four once you've chained up four just like this one two three four the next thing for us to do is to insert our hook on the very first chain space just as shown make a slip stitch and then yarn over again and pull through so the pattern here is to make a slip stitch just like this chain up four one two three four insert your hook on the very first chain space just like this and make a slip stitch once you make a slip stitch the last thing to do is to yarn over from the under make the last slip stitch just starts to seal the work so you begin with this slip stitch and end with this slip stitch so this pattern is just trying to you know create some spikes on top of this mesh which will form um a design by the sides of this top right from the neck area down to the back where we'll be tying the straps of this top so this is what this pattern is going to be looking like and once we are done with that that's just the last thing to do on this side of the top and i'll show us what next to do okay right now i'm on the very last one so i'm just making the very last spike now and after that i would you know make my last slip stitch again chain one just to seal my work perfectly then snap off my scissors just like this pull through and ensure that you secure the end of this work wow so this is a design we're trying to create all along ensure you also hide your ends the ends of your work so that your work doesn't start losing from that particular end that's to secure your ends well and make your finishing very neat and nice so you can just gently, you know, pull in your yarns, the excess strands and snap off the remaining once you are done. That's it. So right now, you guys, you can see that our design is out. This is exactly what we're trying to create on this side. So we'll just, you know, try this design. This very beautiful, nice design we did at the end. We're going to be doing that on the other side. What we did here is what we're going to be doing on this other side of the top so just get to work you know try that out and then i'll meet you once you're done with that and tell us what next to do and here i am done making the same design on the other side just like this so make sure you do yours and then i'll meet you here so this is where we are now um 
we've done the same thing here and done the same thing on the other side so the last thing to do now is make a design underneath here under the top just here there's a design we're going to be creating there and after that we'll just make the hands that's the strap and that's the end of the work so let's get started again so now for this design which we are about to create underneath the top ensure you're facing um the back side of your top not the front side so for this top um for the back of this top rather we are going to be forming a design or some gaps where we can pass our straps the back straps yes so i'm going to be making spaces more like an eye for the straps when we're going to be passing it through the back of this top so ensure you're holding your work firmly and make your first two double crochets just like this after inserting your new yarn chain one make another two double crochets just like this chain one and then ensure you're holding your work firmly skip another chain space make two double crochets chain one skip a chain space chain one make your two double crochets so that's the pattern for this eye this um straps eye <laughs> i think that's what we can call this here for now that's the eye for this strap so make this straps um eye just like this the way i'm doing mine and when you get to the bottom that's the part where you have the the underneath gaps i'll be showing us what to do when we get there so now we've successfully completed the strap eyes just like this this is where we'll be passing our straps for the back the next thing for us to do is to create the underneath design which i was talking about so this is the part where you should pay much more attention start with a slip stitch make a single crochet now make a double crochet slip stitch again move to the next piece make it your first slip stitch so make a single crochet double crochet just like this slip stitch move to the next space just like that that is the pattern for this underneath design which i'm trying to create so watch carefully and do as i do and you will walk that through to the other side and make the strap eyes for the other side and seal your ends so that's exactly what we're going to be doing right here so watch carefully and do as i do and i'll meet you guys when you are done with this underneath design so guys our pattern is gradually forming here if you check your work to the other side you'll see how the stitches look so nice and your ends are well sealed and designed so just keep working the pattern um on each of these gaps under the top just like the way i'm doing my own and now we are gradually approaching the middle point which is where i want to lay some emphasis on on the middle point of this top we are going to be creating something different from what we did to the rest so this is that middle point here firstly walk your um four double crochets at the middle of this top just as shown then make a slip stitch over to the next gap and immediately after that you continue the same pattern which we've been doing on the rest of the um gaps below till so you get to that part where you have um where you do not have these gaps anymore then you make our strap eyes for the other side and then seal your ends
so as you can see we are actually done with the strap eyes and the down design the next thing for us to do is to make our hands that is the strap of this top just as shown so you're going to be chaining up as long as your desired length but as for me i chained as long as my measuring tape because i am really going to be tying straps and you know making some stuff at the back of my top so you can chain as long as your desired length and then i'll meet you once you're done that's all and that's the end of this top guys in case you haven't seen the first part ensure you watch that video carefully and that's it guys you can see our top is ready with the cute back ensure you like this video and subscribe put on your notification bell so you don't miss further updates such as this until then see you guys bye